So in the last video, we saw the uh, procedure of writing the netlist of the circuit uh, and this was the netlist of this circuit. So now today we will show you how to run that Sierra file. So at first we go to our family release and then eSpice AD as you have installed it earlier and then you go to file and then open and go to that folder where you serve that CIR file and go to CIR and just this was the file name we open that okay so here we have our text file right as we have written here uh, you see so we put this file and open it here and now we have to simulate this using run so here you can see the pattern of run so here the circuit is simulated by S point calculated simulation copy so we have no problem with the circuit so this here is the circuit complete. Now, what happened here? Where are the voltages and currents? Okay. So you go to the view simulation output file over here and find out here that this is the node voltages. So number one node it's at 20 volt, number two node at 13.33 volt, and number three at minus two volts. Okay. So we did not print anything here in the text file. You can see here we did not use anything print. But uh, at default, <coughs> eSpice shows the node voltages. So here we have three nodes, so we are shown here three node voltages. So what if we want to explicitly print something like the current through the RA register or the current through the RC register, etc. <coughs> For that, we use something like print command. So at first, you have to invoke the print command. So this, uh, this is really important. When you are trying to invoke the command, you have to write something like this as you can see from this pdf dot dc and the source okay so at first you have to show the circuit that you have a uh, voltage source right so you use dot dc and what is the voltage source that you use? and the value of that voltage twice so here we have 2021 so this one means the first node the positive node of the source so here if this vs was connected at like uh, a node you would write here a okay and you have to write the value twice so here you have 20 rows so that we wrote just 20 and then these so what it does it invokes the the command that you want to use print so at then you write dot print okay and now what what do you want to print the current or the voltages it doesn't matter so at first you write dot print as this is a dc circuit you write dot print dc and then you write v so this is the voltage and you use uh, like 2 comma 3 so you will find the voltage difference between v2 uh, uh, means uh, number 2 node and number 3 node okay and then you can similarly write v1 3 or anything you want uh, v3 0 okay 0 so if you write v only 2 it means it is equivalent to v2 comma 0 remember that okay so now we just printed anything we want, um, any voltage we want in the circuit, and then let us print the current. So similarly, you write print DC, but in the current section, you have to write I and then the register value, not the node values. So here you ha you have the register is R A R B R C, so you can write as R A I R, -R B I R C. So you find the currents through R A R B and R C. So this is really a handy approach so now we can file save as and save that as again we have to save this file so i did want to save let's just replace the folder so now we can replace that and then from here again open that cir file like before okay so now here we have an upgrade function and now if we run simulate here our simulation is complete so here you can see start 20 and 20 vs 20 as uh, you can see from here we use this command dot dc vs so uh, it shows p space that there is actually a source from which the energy is supplied uh, you can remember it like this okay. so here we again put the simulation output file. now we'll see the differences over here okay so what did we write here we wrote uh, dc v2 comma 3 here you can see you can see v2 comma 3 1.533 e plus 0 minus 10 to the power or something right 
so it means 1.53 to the power 1 so that means 15.33 volt the node voltage between v2 and v3 okay v3 so here this one v2 and v3 and then v13 here as here v1 is 2.2 into 10 to the power 1 so that means this uh, 22 volts right so this is v1 to 3 v1 minus v3 in other words and then we have v3 comma 0 which is nothing but this node voltage so this was uh, again minus 2 volt as we remember from the simulation the schematic circuit and we have the v2 so v2 is over here so this was also 13.33 volt on this node so our circuit is very good also we printed here the dc currents to rrb rc you can also find this from here ira irb irc also you can see vs is everywhere like here also and here also because we invoke the circuit using dot dc vs 20 20 comma 1 comma that's why uh, it is showing everywhere so this is really a handy approach uh, for anyone who has a, a schematic who don't want to run the schematic or just write the case but uh, Actually, it's a good practice to use schematic first because uh, from schematic you can also generate the net list, huh? but not the other way. So, uh, we are done with this. Practice some circuit, grab your book, and just practice some random circuit from your book and write the net list in this way, and you have a good command of the net list also.